Hey guys, I'm here at Music To My Ear. My name is Craig. I am the head fi rep for Music To My Ear. Um, I had some different in-ear monitors that I wanted to talk about. I've been listening to them for some time and I really enjoy all of them for different reasons and I wanted to take time just to talk about the different ones. Um, the first one is the Shozy Zero. Um, it's $55 and this has been greatly talked about for excellent bang for the buck. Uh, comes with its square carrying case that you can see. And inside you get a uh, rosewood back which I think is really beautiful especially for the price. Um, and it has a Litz cable which means that the copper inside of it is uh, the different fibers are insulated inside of it and I don't know if you can tell but we'll do a different picture of it if need be to show the detail of it. Um, what I like about these is it's a real neutral sound but it's still really enjoyable <clears throat> and it doesn't you know feel boring or anything like that. For the price it's really good sound. Um, everything is you know separated enough and it's just definitely worth mentioning for the Litz cable and also just how nice they look. So I think it's definitely worth checking out if you're in the, um, you know, for that type of budget for an in-ear. Uh, the next thing that we have is the Kozoi Hira C103. Here's a picture of it. I'll show you guys. Now these are 170, so it's a price jump from the zeros, but it's almost night and day, which is amazing to me. Um, you get really, you know, you get a lot of separation with the instruments. You get uh, deeper bass. Everything's more extended. The sound stage is a lot wider, and you get more depth. Um, for the price, those are also uh, very well respected. And I think they also look really cool, especially on the back end of them. I think they look really nice. Um, with them, you get you know the box that it comes in, and then it has its own carrying case that you can put them in as well. You also get uh, different in-ear tips that you can replace and change, you know, depending on your size. What's nice is you can get ones that are um, comparable to like comply tips, which they like squeeze in and compress and um, are a lot nicer of a fit. I like those a lot with them. Last but not least, I have what I think is really amazing in, in the industry right now is the Odyssey iSign 20s. Uh, these are different than the 10s. They come with a uh, cipher cable, which I'll show you in a second. I'll show these off. So what makes these really special and different is it sounds like an open headphone. So I'll take one out. So this doesn't have the tip on it yet, but you would put a tip right there and then these fit just right in your ear like that. And they look different than like everything that's out, but they're different for a reason. It sounds like an open headphone. Uh, it's really amazing technology. And just like Odyssey, you know, the rest of the line, it has really great bass. It's, um, it's a planner headphone, you know, so it gives you that deep bass and gives more weight to the sound. And that's what I just found incredible about these. But other than that, it sounds like closer to the LCDX and a mix of like another uh, headphone from the LCD line. I couldn't really put my, uh, put my finger on it. It's like an LCDX in the regards to a little bit more neutral but still has that weighty bass and then something else in the family of Odyssey. They did a great, or a great job creating it, and it's just so different than the rest that I've ever heard before. Um, what you get with it is a really nice case. What's cool is this part fits right into this case, like that, all nice and neat. Inside, you'll get, it's hard to see, but you get different ear hooks, which you, will just like can wrap around your ear so then it kind of like you can either keep it totally in your ear um, the ear tip 
or you can kind of rest it a little bit on the outside. So it's kind of like whatever feel you want and it'll play with the sound a little bit. There's also other, uh, not hooks, but little pieces of rubber here that will fit inside over your ear if you like that. I tried it. Um, I was surprised it didn't hurt my ear at all and it actually worked for me as well as the ear hooks. Uh, you also get six different uh, sets of in-ear tips to try to you know get whatever size is the best. Something that is difficult about these is they may not fit everyone's ear if you have like a smaller uh, ear canal. Some people had difficulty finding the right tip to fit it and have it be comfortable, but there's so many different aftermarket tips that you can try. It's totally worth it. Um, it's just amazing for the sound. What you also get with the uh, iSign 20, is open this up, is you get two different cables. You know, you get your regular cable, and then you get the, the Cypher cable. This is for Apple phones. It has a built-in amp and DAC in it. And when I use this, I, it's surprisingly better than just right out of your phone, uh, special for the app, or like especially for the Apple phone. It's different. Um, the, it's just a lot more clear and crisp, and there's definitely like a magic to it. You might have to like look up people talking about these because I'm not the only one that can tell a real difference between this. What's really cool about the iSign in general is you're able to download an Odyssey app that will let you play with the EQ of it. So you can change the treble, the bass, and the mids. Uh, what is nice about it is it responds very well to EQ. Some headphones, uh, when you start putting EQ into the mix and you know changing how the headphone responds naturally it can somehow or excuse me it can make it sound more digitized than when it's just being natural but these respond very well to it a lot of people online have uh, found that they have been able to play with it and it's been able to be what they want and just you know change it however they feel like it I think that's really cool that they add that feature to this. So, like I said, something else, uh, I didn't show this yet. This is the Chord Mojo. A lot of people know what this is, um, but if you don't, it's just an amp and a DAC uh, portable. And I used it with the iSign and I felt like it was a good match. So anyone that already owns a Mojo I can tell you right off the bat that the iSign would be a good pairing with it. Um, since I'll turn it on, since it's you know totally different. A lot of people already know what this is, and that's why I wanted to you know tell people in the video about it. Lastly, um, when we finally get, and I've been waiting for this for too long, when we finally get the Quest Style 400i, or excuse me, CMA 400i. Um, I will try the I sign out with it and I'll try the here out with it just to see how they do with the amp um, That comes out any minute now. That's from quest style and why I bring it up is They made it specifically to be a little bit lower power. So then it can respond very well to in-ears So once I get that in I will definitely do a review of that and that'll be probably coming up next All right. I hope you guys check this out. You can look at all these on our website um, I wanted to give you a general description. We will have more description of each of these uh, so you can check it out and uh, see what you like. All right, see ya.